Today we're gonna see how you can create the grants overlays that we saw in the beginning of this video by using the FCPX grants plugin from Pixel Film Studios. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and ring the notification bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video if you're into this kind of stuff. With FCPX grants you get over 250 4K overlays that you can use above your clips and we will see later on in Final Cut Pro 10 how you can use it and also you get titles and effects that you can use them to enhance your videos. Two important things here, the first one is that the plugin gets frequent updates and that means that every time it updates you get new composites to use on your videos. And the second one is that you can use these overlays with any program, not only Final Cut Pro 10, so you can use the system with the overlay in Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve or your video editing of your choice. The first 500 people that will use the coupon code Emilio Pixel will get 30% off the purchase. So let's go, we got the plugin and the first thing that we want to get the composites is to go into my account where we download the FCPX grants and also we will see that we see the composite footage. So you will need to download the footage one, two, three. And as you can see here, I combined all the three folders into one, you will have the brick stone, and you can see here are the overlays, the concrete, patterns, dirt, dust, film, wood, grime, paint, paper, and as you open all these folders, you get the videos. Now let's go and see the video that I created in the beginning of the video, and you will see that I have placed the layers above my clip, let me disable this and do it from the beginning. All right, so let's say we have this clip here. I'm opening the folder and let's say that we want to use a film. We get, for example, this clip here. I'm gonna place it above the clip, as you see here. I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna go into the inspector panel and I'm gonna set the blend mode to overlay. Now, remember that you can change to overlay, add or screen to match your own choice and then your own taste that you want to give the look in your films. So simply as that, you see that I placed it above and we have the overlay effect. Now, remember that we can combine these overlay effects. For example, I can also take the dust, place it on top, again, set the blend mode to overlay and I will have two of them, three or how many we want to put above the clips. Now, in Final Cut Pro 10, as you can see here on the titles, we have as adjustment layers, the black adjustment layer that we can use it. And if you don't know what adjustment layers are, you can click in the video that it's popping right now on top to see why the adjustment layers are important in Final Cut Pro 10, but it gives us an adjustment layer. And also it has the bump up and the refraction effect. These effects can be used either as adjustment layers or as you install the plugin, you can see them on the effects panel as well. And let's see, for example, what these effects are. We can add the color controls either on the clip or in the adjustment layer. So let's grab a blank adjustment layer and put it on top, grab the color controls and place them into the adjustment layer. Now, as you can see here in the inspector panel, as soon as we colorize the intensity to the right, we see that the image is getting darker and we can go into the colorization and we can select the color, for example, to blue. Let's go here, select it to blue. And you see that the pattern that it's behind is getting the color that we want. And as soon as we turn the wheel for the intensity to the right, it becomes more of the color that we chose. Also, we can change the color red, green, and blue from the inspector panel. And we can change the saturation, the contrast, the pivot, the gamma, brightness, threshold, etc. So this is something that you can experiment and play with the colors to match the look that you want to achieve. So this is the colors. Now let's go and see the bump map. If we add the bump up, we will go in the inspector panel again. And what we see here in the inspector panel is that we can click on a source and let's say that we want this source now here, apply to clip. And as you can see here in the screen, as I'm 
turning the wheel of scale to the right or to the left, I'm seeing that I'm having in back a bump effect. So basically I'm mixing two clips to create an even more interactive effect. And the same goes with the refraction. Let me delete the bump up here. The refraction I'm placing on the adjustment layer again, and I'm having the option to set another source. I'm applying the clip and I can scale it. I can vertical flip it and I can change the pan. And also I can send how much of refraction I want it to have. So if I place it also on this screen here, we will see that we have the refraction, the bump map, and the adjustment layers, as I said in the beginning. So these are the extra effects that are as effects or as adjustment layers in the title section installed in Final Cut Pro 10 with this plugin. If you have any questions about this plugin, I'm waiting for them in the comment section down below. I'm very impressed because we always looking ways to have uh, overlays and especially the grunge look with the film or wood or the dust and scratches. This is an effect that can be used with music videos or uh, dark documentaries or whatever you want to be creative. And we have a large amount of overlays that we can use for our creations. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Emilio Takas. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm saying that again and I will see you in the next video.